up everyone, Zoe here from the GMA social team and today we're saying goodbye to my hair. <laughs> That's right, I'm donating over seven inches of my hair to the Little Princess Trust. Ever since I was little, I've had a passion for donating hair. The very first time I did it, I was in fifth grade and I thought, I have the ability to grow my hair long, why not help out someone who doesn't? The Little Princess Trust provides free wigs to children and young adults who are experiencing hair loss because of cancer or another condition. Originally, I had plans to go to a salon and get my hair professionally cut, but since social distancing is still in place here in New York City, I thought, why not do it myself? To make sure I don't completely botch my hair and wind up with one side up here and one side down here, I turned to a hairstylist and one of my favorite YouTubers, Brad Mondo. So what should people think about before they cut their hair at home? Definitely follow a good tutorial. Uh, I think it's important to do your research and find somebody that does it well on themselves or can show you how to do it well. And then of course, like having the right tools is very essential and just not cutting your hair with like kitchen scissors or office scissors is, is very important to me. That's like <laughs> the one thing that I just can't handle. I'm not gonna use these, but would you completely cringe if I cut my hair with these? Yes. <laughs> 100%. I mean, listen, people have done it, it's come out okay, but like at a microscopic level, it does not work the same as um, real hair cutting scissors. It definitely like, shreds the hair. It ends up giving you more split ends. It's just kind of a mess. So stay away from that. And then just, you know, being patient with the process. It does take a little bit of time to cut your own hair. It's not like a I'm gonna put my hair in a ponytail and just chop it off kind of moment. So making sure you take your time and section it out nicely and comb it out and do all the right things, it should be great. This is my boyfriend Josh, he's gonna help me out with this haircut. As you guys can see, he doesn't have um, a lot of experience with hair. But he's gonna help me out and just make sure everything looks all right. On the website, it says to part your hair in four different sections and then put hair ties on each section. Okay, so you're supposed to cut it right above the ponytail. Nothing happened. Okay. You wanted it? It's not like cutting. I'm scared. I feel like you're going like a little bit above. Just a little. Oh. oh! That's so much shorter than I wanted it. Look how much above you went. I didn't go straight. That you was guys. Great. That was great. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't go fully like across. I went at an angle. Well, it's too late now. All right, now it's like. Someone say a prayer for my hair, please. It did. <laughs> oh. What'd you do? I don't know what I'm doing now. Josh just got it across. Oh, no. it's, it's like elementary. Just it's not good. It's not good. From the back? How bad is it? It's so bad. We might break up after this video. I don't know. It was crazy. It, it, this just doesn't cut. Like, this doesn't cut through that knot. All of my hair is gone. I don't think it looks bad. It just looks uneven at the bottom. What's the definition of that for a haircut? God! We got these scissors. I forget what Brad said they were called. I'll put it here. Um, and it's like to make the ends thinner. Like, see how... Do you see that? Well, I think it looks like... It does not look good. So these make the ends thinner, so you're supposed to just like, he's at like an inch above and you cut, and then like the hair comes out. Oh. 
Oh God, I don't know. I don't know. After I cut my hair, I laid it out and measured it and had around 16 inches to donate and then sealed it in a plastic bag neatly, put it in a box and sent it off to the post office. It's been a few weeks since I cut my hair and I am obsessed now. I can't even imagine having long hair. My showers are shorter, I barely brush my hair, I just kind of wake up and go. I'm loving it. I would highly recommend to anyone out there with long hair, just cut it, just do it. It'll grow back eventually and you'll have a short new do to play around with. Hey there GMA fans, Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.